despite what he did and making several observations about Rodney King. One of the things he talked about was him being buffed out, alluding to his size and muscular nature. He also talked about uh, him having a look that he'd seen before. Uh, Bob Altschiller, he describes this look I'd seen before and he says that it's the look of someone on PCP or Angel Dust. And yet we know from the labs that were taken that Rodney King was not on PCP or Angel Dust. What do you think of that? Well, it could, it could be that the look he was seeing was a look of terror. It could be that it was a look of alcohol combined with uh, being confused about certain things with adrenaline and all these other things. Normally, you would think that if a police officer is saying, this guy was on PCP, and you have unequivocal medical evidence showing that that was not the case, you can use it to support an argument. These guys are looking to cover their tails, and, and they're looking to protect themselves against what they did. Now, we do know that there are police reports that are filed in this thing that uh, are not accurate police reports. In other words, dumbing down the incident, uh, saying that he had little more than a split lift, he was oblivious to pain, things of that nature, but we know that's not true. Does that, along with this, then turn around to affect Stacey Coon's credibility? Sometimes it does, but I think that it's natural for an officer to, and I'm not justifying it, but I'm saying, you know, the, the argument goes it's natural for an officer maybe to downplay a little bit of what was going on out there. And that in and of itself may be a crime, it may not be a crime. The prosecutors tried to use it as a consciousness of guilt, but most courts will instruct the jury that if there's any other explanation aside from the fact, aside from the possibility that they created these documents to protect themselves and, and to show and, and that it is actually a consciousness of guilt, you should draw the other conclusion. So that well, may not hurt them. One of the things that uh, struck me is that uh, Officer Kuhn was talking about his observations of Rodney King initially. He said that Rodney King was buffed out, uh, meaning that he was muscular and things of that nature. And he, and he was asked, what conclusion did you draw from that? And he said, well, the conclusion I drew from that was that he was an ex-con, uh, basically making the, the, the statement that any African-American man who was buffed out would more than likely be an ex-con. And I wonder how that statement would have played to a jury that had African-American members or predominantly African-American juries. Well, I think the conclusion that you have in your question <laughs> is the accurate one. I think that that is a, it's a racist statement. That may not be what he meant. He, may, he may, may have meant that under the circumstances, given all the different factors, that was the conclusion. But the way it came out, I don't think would play the same way in L.A. as it did in Simi Valley. Now, it's difficult to figure out what else he could have meant other than what he said, but let's take a look more at his behavior. After we come back from a break, we're going to have more of Stacey Coons.